Protoss race is the single most controversial thing in StarCraft 2. It's the race that rarely wins tournaments, but it's also the race that makes people lose their mind. Fuck Protoss! Fuck Protoss! This is so stupid, they win with one fucking mind! Throughout the history of StarCraft 2, Protoss players have always been considered as F2 players, and the whole race is labeled as the easiest one. But among all other factions in StarCraft 2, it's Protoss players who show the most creativity and insane microcontrol. But how come this race is both weak on a high level and hated so much by casuals? Uh, how fucking autistic. It's nice. So eliminating even more of like the already incredibly fucking limited micro in this game? Okay. That makes more sense now. Because I'm always wondering like, how are you picking out my fucking infestors in the middle of like this insane fucking battle? But they're not, they're literally A-moving like fucking retarded downies and it just automatically is picking my spellcasters out. How fucking retarded. Holy shit, it's so stupid. Today we'll dive deep into StarCraft 2 game design and issues. I'll share my thoughts about why Protoss Race is a big problem in StarCraft 2, and you'll learn why Protoss Race seems both OP and bad at the same time, and what can be done about that. So, the main idea behind race design in StarCraft 2 is that each race should be unique in its own way. Zergs are swarmy, they rely on masses of cheap units, good surrounds and map scouting. Turn race is versatile, but it's mostly about high DPS and low HP, and turn is also the most aggressive one in the game. And Protoss was designed to have a lot of high cost, high efficiency units. Almost every unit is better in one versus one combat, and every unit has an active or passive ability. Protoss race was initially designed as a late game race that would require a considerable micro control to survive till that stage. And in the first stages of development, Protoss Race was also the one and only to have a super unit that was an old mothership, capable of destroying anything on its own. The dynamic between races would be quite interesting in that case. In case of PvT, Terran players are forced to outplay Protoss players before the latter reach a late game stage with superior forces, and as for ZVP, Protoss Race is supposed to defend against waves of Zerg attacks until it's ready for the final battle. While this concept seems cool on paper, it has always created many issues with balancing. On a low level, playing Protoss should be a good experience. Most of your units on average perform better without your personal interference, and you have a mighty late game army that's almost unbeatable by low rank players. OP Protoss Ball. Protoss Ball. And since StarCraft 2 has a fixed cap of 200 supply for each player, you cannot really unleash the swarm as a Zerg player or have multiple fighting armies as a Terran. In the late game, you are forced to battle Protoss players with an equal amount of supply, knowing that your units are inferior, and it takes you more effort to micro and defeat your opponent. Then you might ask, why don't Protoss players win tournaments? Well, the race and its death ball had many changes throughout the development process. To fix that late game OP issue, Protoss Race was undergoing many changes since release, slowly shifting the race from being technologically superior to being a race with different range of options, just as the other two. Remember the time when everybody was playing Zilt Arcos and PvT? It seemed like a good fix that didn't last for too long though. On a high level, Protoss Race isn't really that superior, except that Protoss units usually have more HP. The problem with Protoss Race is that it punishes the player for a mistake too heavily, but you don't feel it unless you're a Grandmaster or above, I mean the tournament level. In high level games, there is a lot of action around the map, and even a small mispositioning can lead to a sudden defeat, and one single Zerg run by can ruin your game, and even the best army in the world won't save you. He has the better army, the army that could have actually won the fight straight up, but Dark says I'm not fighting your army mate, I'm counterattacking, and you can see it in the chair, creator is devastated, he is going to lose each and every single building, and it seems that it will be Dark who's moving into the quarterfinals to meet his teammate hero. Every single one of these buildings is in the last lifelines there, but Dark takes out the last building! Having more expensive units and more casters forces you to move in a big chunky ball, and it becomes really hard to split your units. Besides that, 
Protoss Race, unlike Terran and Zerg, relies heavily on a few AoE units that deal the most damage in fights. Losing a Disruptor or two free Colossi can instantly make you lose the whole match, and your attention is insanely valuable. The problem lies in the Protoss Ground Army. It's a gimmick race on a high level because you'll be punished really hard for losing any unit, and the Protoss race really struggles with its backbone units. Compare this to other two races. Marines are good on every stage of the game, and Link Bay composition is just superior to anything else in StarCraft 2. And when it comes to Protoss units, most of their tools get outdated quickly and cannot fight in small numbers. Due to its reliance on high-tech units, Protoss race quickly becomes vulnerable in the mid-game, because your backbone army with Zealots and Stalkers cannot really be efficient enough by themselves. Splitting your expensive units is difficult, and that's why there are three options. Camp to Roof God the Death Ball, which isn't even as effective on a pro level, go for an all-in or timing attack, and the last one, rely on gimmicks such as Warp Prism on the main base or lucky disruptor shots. While the Protoss race still feels strong, it's too reliant on luck, timings and positioning, which makes it a lot more random on a high level. Even with really good scouting, you never know when you'll get hit by a drop or a baneling run by. At the same time, buffing Skytos isn't a good choice either. Playing and watching air battles isn't that fun, and something should be done to fix the ground army. Maybe we could get cheaper tier 2 units with less efficiency. Colossi seems the worst unit at the moment, by the way. The Protoss race really needs some rework, because it annoys people on every level, and even Protoss players themselves are so tired of losing tournaments all the time. It's both powerful and weak, and it definitely needs a new patch in 2023. What are your thoughts on the Protoss race? Check out more videos about Protoss concepts here, and as usual, have a nice day, and see you next time.